Hello and welcome back to the Tokyo Anime Zone, your number one news source for all the latest anime and manga news straight from Japan. I am your host, as always, Christian, and today we are discussing Uma Musume Pretty Derby. Now, if you're like me, you may be wondering, what is Uma Musume Pretty Derby? Well, horses, idols, anime girls gambling i know what you're thinking stop wait no don't turn away don't don't click away from the video this is important news this is life-changing spiritual stuff okay guys for those who are uninitiated as i like to call it um we may have the same initial reaction to the anime let's take a quick peek at that okay let's um let's check out la musume let's see what this is about i mean probably like a horse training anime, you know, like they train horses, or maybe it's a horse racing guy and his horse is like a princess. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 4.2 million views. <laughs> 3 million views two months ago? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh, Mobile game demo gameplay. What? Wait a second. Wait a second. The girls are horses? No. <laughs> are you kidding? Are you Are you kidding me? Yo, what the? F I don't. I don't want to hate on it. I want to give it a chance, but this reminds me of those guys this reminds me of those guys in america that dress up as horses and like do like the <laughs> like the horse racing events <laughs> just in japan japanese version just put the girls on the horse and make them idols <laughs> jesus yeah they're flying oh so many questions <laughs> I can't tell who's not a horse anymore. Everybody is everybody a horse? Is just some people a horse in this world? So some are horses, some are just regular people. Yeah, this is so confusing. Okay, she's not a horse. She's just a regular idol lady, I think. The ears, man. So some have like fake ears and some have actual ears. That's also inconsistent. Okay, I need consistency across this universe. I need if you could have horse ears on people, make them horse ears. Some have headbands that have horse ears on them. That's, come on, that's just some guy posing, okay? That's, I'm getting sucked in. I'm getting sucked in. I gotta focus. Hold on. So, as you can see, Uma Musume Pretty Derby is the only franchise of its kind to kind of appeal to idol fans, horse race enthusiasts, and even furries. I know. But, um, actually, the anime itself is based off these legendary Japanese racehorses that are cute anime girls with horse ears and horse tails. Um, I know it sounds kind of weird to see at first, but in reality, um... Hmm. <laughs> no, yeah, it's pretty hard to deal with in reality as well. So basically, the premise of this show is these horse girls are also idols, and they compete for racing fame and glory, and each girl is based off one of these legendary Japanese racing horses. So kind of based off that horse's race and track history and personality, these idol girls also have similar personalities, similar traits, and similar history. So if you know the history of Japanese racehorses, you can kind of guess what's going to happen in the show and kind of guess what kind of personality these idol horse girls are going to have. A mobile gacha game for Uma Musume Pretty Derby was finally released this February after being delayed since 2018. The game's release came just in time to air with season 2 of the anime, which was handled by Studio Kai, who took over the reins from Studio PA Works. Get it? Took over the reins? It's a horse joke. This was actually quite geniusly made for Japanese audiences, and let me explain. It really comes down to three big factors that you need to know about, and that is 1. Horse racing in Japan, 2. Idol culture in Japan, and 3 gacha games and their addictive strategies. For those of you that don't know, actually, horse racing is quite huge in Japan. I mean, horse racing alone makes upwards of trillions of yen. Trillions. 
every year. So billions of dollars. It's a huge, huge industry, and people not only bid on horse races for profit, but it's gone so far as to even spread into game centers. You could actually bid real money on and win money just off these fake virtual horses. And it's really ingrained into kind of like gambling life, kind of like pachinko is in Japan. The next point that makes it so popular kind of combines with horse racing, and that is the fact that it's idols. If Japan loves anything, it's their idols. Um, similar to kind of like maybe uh, Kantai Collection, where they have you know, like the, the battleships that are portrayed as cute idol girls. In this series, they're portrayed as uh, cute idol girls as well, but the horses. Uh, <laughs> I know. So, again, the idol culture, which includes, you know, songs, figurines, posters, wallpapers body pillows okay so all these things are able to be included into the show as kind of like merchandise which is kind of just a perfect niche market for Japan that I really don't think many Westerners myself included are really going to kind of get into and really fall in love with so what this show does in a weird kind of way it, is it capitalizes perfectly on this kind of open market of of horse racing and the third aspect that really brings this to show together um, it makes it so big in Japan is the fact that it's a gacha game. So what gacha games do, they allow you to make in-game purchases with real money to get more rolls in order to get your special character, special card, special idol. So if you say, you know, you want this certain horse that won, you know, this uh, famous race back in Japan and she's a new character and she's super cute and you want this horse, maybe you put in 50 bucks to get an extra 20 more rolls. And this is how Gacha Games um, gets you. Gotcha, bitch! It's called Gacha for a reason. So these games become very addictive already. So you already have horse horse racing, which is a pretty addictive gambling habit. And Gacha Games, which can be quite addicting as well. And it really just becomes this kind of trifecta of I guarantee success in Japan. I gotta give props to Japan for their their marketing team. They know what people want in Japan, and it shows. You know, you if you would ask me, I would have never guessed that uh, a game about horse girls racing on two legs would be huge in Japan. But damn it, if it's not making huge numbers right now in the gacha community and the anime community, and uh, yeah, it's a very interesting show to say the least. So if you didn't know about Lamusume. Yeah, please let me know your thoughts. Did you watch the show? Uh, do you want to play the game in English? Uh, you're just playing the game. And what are your thoughts on horse racing, idols, and gacha culture all under one? Do you think it's a possible success in the US if it were to come over here? But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button if you want more of the latest anime and manga news straight from Japan. This is Tokyo Anime Zone. I'm Christian. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Boop.